Evangelism is telling the world about the gospel. In Acts 1 verse 8, Jesus tells his disciples to be his witnesses to the end of the earth. You know, that's where we come in. Romans 10 verses 14 and 15 says, How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. So not only will we be the sent ones to tell others of the gospel, our feet will be nice too. The word evangelism in Greek literally means bringer of good news. And what exactly is that good news? It's that Jesus came as God into the world to take the punishment for our sin so that we no longer are separated from God. Jesus was resurrected so we can put faith in him as Lord of our lives, ensuring eternal life for those who believe. Well, why do you think? Humanity have sinned against God, sin being the godlessness in our decisions, actions and thoughts. It's separation from our creator. God set the universe in motion and is incredibly just. His wrath is turned towards sin, but because he is love, he has provided mercy through Jesus. The story of Adam and Eve in Genesis is really all of our story. They wanted to be like God, and sin causes us to set ourselves up in that same place. Only God can be God. There is no one like him. While well, the Great Commission tells us we are to make disciples of all nations, we realise that people come to faith by hearing the word. But it doesn't say only the professionals are meant to play. We've all got to share Jesus. It's really important to realise something that people aren't punished because you were quiet, and neither are they saved because you told them. It's all because of Jesus and their rejection or accepting of him as Lord. Looking at the early disciples in Acts, they had an urgency to tell people about Jesus because they believed he was coming back any day. Sometimes we lose that urgency. Just because it's been nearly 2,000 years since Jesus' ascension doesn't mean that we should be lazy. It may seem like a hard or impossible task, but we're all at different stages in the link of seeing someone come to know Jesus as Lord. Your place in telling them might be at the beginning, or it might be at the end, and seeing them actually come through to accept Jesus as Saviour. The old adage of sowing seeds is apt. My advice about sharing with your friends about Jesus is like fishing. Put bait on a hook, and if they bite, pull them in. If they didn't bite, jumping in the water and wrestling the fish won't help. Start by saying how good church was, or maybe you were reading something in the Bible that was interesting. Or maybe be brave and ask them what they want prayer for. And actually, if you've got any good tips, let me know. <laughs>